Let's move on to our final chapter, that is Tableau. And to show you all the updates that we have, let me invite Ewald to the stage. Hi, everybody. I'm Ewald, and I'm leading the developer experiences at Tableau. You just heard from Daniel about all the innovations in data cloud and how it makes data in it even more valuable for an organization and its users. And there is no better way to explore the data than with the Tableau. And I'm going to show you today, if I have the clicker correct, I'm going to show you what we have delivered uh, this release for Tableau. So we're, first, we're going to have the Tableau Lightning Web Component that allows you to seamlessly integrate Tableau into your Salesforce experiences. But Salesforce is not the only platform where you can embed Tableau. You can also embed Tableau in any application or product. And it has never been easier with the, embedded, with the embedding playground to get started with this. So let's see how those features work in a demo. Earlier, I created a map in Tableau Cloud. And to embed this into your Salesforce experience, all you need is to copy its URL. So Moet, can you please go to Salesforce and edit the page? And you might wonder if you can use this as an ISV to include it into your managed packages and deploy it to App Exchange. And absolutely, you can. So here you see the Tableau Lightning Web Component. And let's drag it onto the page. And the only thing that you need is to paste the, uh, the link that we just copied in here. And that's all what you need to get your Tableau visualizations inside of Salesforce. And what Mo had just showed you works very well if you want to bring it into Salesforce. But what if you want to bring it into an external facing application, like this banking app that is developed on Node.js? In the top, you see some buttons that are in the style of the application that allows you to programmatically control the visualizations that you're seeing on here. So you can switch from monthly to quarterly, and you can filter the data using controls in the style of the application. We've made this interaction possible through the Tableau Embedding API library. And as I mentioned, with the Embedding Playground, it has never been easy to get started. So here's the, the, the Embedding Playground. And Mohit already copied or pasted the URL of the visualization that you just saw in the Playground. And here you see the connected apps where you can paste the secrets from your Tableau connected app to enable single sign-on uh, authentication. In the bottom, you see the JavaScript in the HTML window. It contains the boilerplate code to embed Tableau in your applications. And we wanted to switch between the monthly and quarterly and filter the data, and we do that with interactions. So if you go with the parameter values, which is used to change between monthly and quarterly, you can drag that uh, code snippet into the JavaScript window to generate the code to make that possible. And let's do the same with the filtering of the data. So we also grab that um, code snippet, pay, uh, drag it into the JavaScript window. And now, Mohit, can you please hit the Run button to see the result? And indeed, you will see that the visualization will switch to the quarterly view and filter on Q2 only. The only thing that is left to get this application, or this visualization into your application is copying the JavaScript in the HTML and hook it up to the right event handlers. So let's go back to the slides. If this demo piqued your interest, then sign up for the developer program where you can get access to a free Tableau Cloud developer instance and a getting started guide to get you started with Tableau embedding. And remember, these visualizations are not just to display numbers. It is about telling stories with data. So let's get out, embed Tableau, and tell your stories, and inspire change, and deliver um, uh, <laughs> and drive uh, uh, the decisions. Thank you all, and back to Aditya.